Hi guys, this is Sathik from Godwin.com. In this video, we'll show you how to flash the files via an EDL tool. This supports lock phone as well. So even if the phone has a lock bootloader and that is currently heartbreak. So even then this tool will work without any issue whatsoever. If you cannot access the file boot mode, no issue whatsoever. Simply we will use the EDL mode and the EDL tool to flash file even on a lock phone as well. So with that in mind, this might wipe your phone. So if possible, take a backup. If not, there is no issue whatsoever. So with that in mind, let's now get started with the process. So first off, get the O plus EDL tool from this link, extract them onto your PC. And after doing an extraction, you will get the following files as you could see. After that, you have to get the EDL firmware for your phone. So go to this link, get the firmware, firmware 1 plus 11. I am having the firmware over here. This is the entire firmware folder as you could see. So we require the images files are over here. But this is the entire EDL firmware. So once you have got it, your next action is to, okay, now you have to get the image which you have taken a backup of and then flash it. In my case, I have to flash the boot A and boot B files in the boot partition of my phone. So these are the files of boot A and boot B. So I have to flash these files. So you have to copy this file and place the file inside the folder of the ROM. So this is the ideal firmware. Go inside the images folder, paste the file over here. If you get a prompt that you have a file you want to replace, hit the yes button. In my case, I will not get any such prompt because my phone over here only has the, the boot file you could see. Let me show you. So what I mean, you could see the boot IMG file should be here only. Somewhat li lying over here randomly, I guess. Let's have a look at the, this is the boot file. But now the files I'm using are the boot underscore A and underscore B. These are somewhat different from the boot by the naming scheme as you could see. But if you're using the same file, you will get a prompt to replace. Please click on yes, it's very important. But before that, it's recommended to take a backup of the file. So which you are replacing. In my case, this is the boot file which I'll be replacing. If you're flashing the boot A and the boot B file, so first off, please take a backup. When that is done, place the files inside the folder of the ROMs images folder. As you could see, we have got. Now I'll be flashing both of these files. So now your next action is to get the, you could say, partition scheme of your phone. And from there, we will then flash the files. So please open the raw program file. There are a lot of files of raw program, four to five files. Open the, that file which has your phone's partition name for the boot file in my case. So if you want to flash the boot file, open the partition name for the boot. If you want to flash the, let's say, fingerprint, open the persist file for IMEI or the FSC, FSG files. So open each of these files one at a time. Let me show you what I mean. There are around four to five files for the raw program XML file. Start by opening the fourth file because the fourth has the most number of files partitions. So raw program zero, don't open, open the fourth one first and foremost, because as you could see, it has the most number of partitions of your phone. Then if your phone slot is given here, well and good. In my case, I'm using the boot file. So I need to have see the boot A and the boot B slot. So in my case, the boot A and the boot B is, is given over here only. But let's say if you want to flash a file which is not over here. In that case, open the different file. Let's say raw program zero and see if the slots are over here or not. So the files are somewhat different in each slots in each raw program file. So verify the file which you want to flash. If it's there, well and good or else find the different file. From zero till five, there are six files. I'm using the raw program four file because I want to flash the boot file. And this is the file. So in most cases, you will have the file name as well. But if that is not the case with your phone, if you're not having the file name, please type in the file name manually. For example, for all the A slots, you could see the file name are given for all the A slots. But if you scroll down to the B slots, for the B slot, there is no file name. You could see over here for all the B slots, there is no file name whatsoever. In that case, you have to manually type in the file name which you want to flash. So for example, in my case, I want to flash the boot A in the A slot and the boot B in the B slot. So for the boot A, the file name is given boot IMG, but I want to flash the boot underscore A. Okay, before that, please take a backup of this file as well. In my case, it's a raw program 4 file. I'll take a backup of this file and click it somewhere else. So this is the backup in my case. I have the file. Okay, I have the backup file. Please take a backup beforehand. And now we may now start off with the changes. Open the raw program 4 file over here. For, for me, I'm using the boot underscore A in the A slot. Boot A. It's done now. Likewise, in the boot B, I want to flash the boot B slot, the boot B file. And in B slot, you will not get any file name whatsoever. If you're flashing any files for both the slots, then manually type in the file name in the B slot. This is the boot and file name is not given. Let's type in manually boot underscore B, which is this one. It's now done. Okay. Then the file extension dot IMG. So file name boot underscore B in the boot B slot and the boot underscore a and the A slot. When that is done, hit the control S. 
to save it. Let me save the file. And now this task is complete. We will now flash the files onto our phone via the Oplus EDL tool. So moving on, we have taken a backup as well. And now let's move to the next step. So open the tool by the exe file. Let me open it once again. So the exe file of the tool is over here. Click on yes. And now let's get the job done. So we'll boot to the ETL mode at the very last. So you see not detected over here. It's no issue. For now, let's first load the ROM file. Click on this. Click on folder and load the entire firmware folder. You could see load the, load the entire folder. Click on select folder and you will get all the files. In my case, I want to use only the draw program 4 file because in the fourth file only we have all the boot slots the boot a and the boot b is in the you could see raw program 4 file only so i only want the fourth file so uncheck all the other ones accordingly to for your phone as well verify which file you want to use and when that is done click on ok ok also check mark this only so we only have the raw program 4 file which is the one i required click on load and you will get all the slots of the raw program 4 file only not any other file so in the raw program fourth file, we have all these files. You could see all these partition, which are now there onto my phone. So I only want to flash the boot file. The boot file should be flashed. So search for the boot partition. And okay, let's do one thing first. Escape. Let me remove this. First of choose all the slot. Uncheck it. You could see it's not removed. So now let's flash the boot A. Check mark it. And the boot B. These are the only two files which are required for me. So you must search from the above search bar as well if required. But these two are the only five on the flash. So make sure to first uncheck all the slots and then manually check mark the required slots. This is the boot B in my case and the boot A. And we have made the changes accordingly. So now we have to use the file and these files are not there inside the ROM firmware. I have placed the file manually. So just to repeat, the file which you are seeing over here, the boot A and the boot B are not from the firmware. I have taken a backup and then placed the file onto the ROM folder. So this is my phone's backup file and not the ROM file. Because in the ROM, we only had the boot file. These are the two files which I have taken the backup from my phone and then placed here manually. So keep this point in mind. It's not the ROM file, it's my own file. When that is done, you could now click on these three and load the file accordingly. For device programmer file, you have to load the... Let me show you all the files. It should be there only version 3.02, I suppose. Inside that, choose your phone's chipset. My case, OnePlus 11 has the 8550 gen 2 so in the first file device programmer file choose this file it will be MELF it's not in the bin, MBN format no issue whatsoever click on open then digest file it's also not in the bin format it's ELF no issue again asking for the bin file but we should using the ELF file no issue click on open then the sign file is in the bin format only click on open verify the chipset once again 8550 and the files as well so this is the MELF device programmer file. Next up, we have the digest file. Let's verify that as well. Digest bin or not. Yes, that is ELF, no issue. In the sign, we have the sign.bin file and it's now loaded. Now that is the case, we could now boot the phone to the EDL mode. Let's also open the device manager from here. Right click on it, choose device manager. It's open in my case already. We'll keep a track of the EDL mode. So first of all, power off the phone and remove the, ED, the USB cable. Now press and hold the volume up and down keys while holding both the keys, insert the USB cable. So let me hold both the volume keys, insert the USB cable. And in the port section, you will now see your phone over here in the EDL mode. If that's well and good, you could see COM5. Click on enter firehose mode and it should take a few seconds to be in the firehose mode. Sending file, sending complete and you could see device is not ready for flashing. If your phone is not shown here in the EDL mode, please install the EDL drivers. The link is given in my article. Anyways, moving on. Once you make sure to check mark both this slot, boot A and boot B in my case. Let's now click on the read select. Okay, it's now done. Click on write selected. Flashing will now start. It's a boot A and the boot B. Yes, it's fine. Click on yes. And it will flash the files onto our phone. And this will only take a few seconds. So flashing will now started. Flashing boot A.img. So it took some time. So let me show you what I mean by that. The flashing of boot B also started. If you want, you may also check mark auto reboot. Using this, the phone will now boot to the OS automatically. In my case, I did not do so. So I said all yours, you may first check mark auto reboot. So after flashing, the phone will boot to the OS. Okay, one more thing. Let me show you what was happening when I started the flashing. I got the prompt, I click on yes. After that, the tool stuck over here for a few seconds. This message, 
O plus GPT backup mode registration failed within five seconds. So it's no issue again. Testing O plus mode within five seconds. So I got this warning sign. Skip that no issue within a few seconds. You would see. Then within I guess ten seconds the flashing started, and it first checked for all the files raw program files. Only the zero was the fourth was found, and using that file it flashed the files. And only the boot A and boot B. So if you have checkmark auto reboot, the phone should not boot to the OS. If you haven't done so, then you I guess for one plus eleven it's the volume up and power key. First verify just once again the flashing has been done. It's not done. So for my phone is the volume up and power keys holding both the key for I guess ten to fifteen seconds. And you could not see the phone is not booting up. So after pressing the key, I had to leave the key as well. So if you have the keys pressed, the phone will not boot up. Instead, once you press the key, please leave the key. After a few seconds, you will not see the phone is booting up to the OS. As you might be aware, the phone remains unlocked. If your phone was originally unlocked as well, it will remain unlocked. It will not be locked. So let's just wait for a few more seconds. The first booting will take up some time. I guess 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, we are now inside the recovery mode, I suppose. So first off, please do a format data. It's the fast boot D mode. So please do a format data. It's a must. Format data verification code is 4389. Format. Please do not skip the formatting. It's very important. And after that, leave the phone as it is. It will not boot to the OS. So right after the flashing is complete, if you have not pressed the auto flash option, in that case, press and hold the volume, the power key or the power and the volume up key for 10 to 15 seconds. Then let go of the keys. The phone will now boot to the fast boot D mode. From there, do a factory reset of format data. And after that, you will see the phone is now inside the OS. So just to recall, first off, have your backup file inside the images folder and from there if ask for a replace please do a file replacing as well then open that file the raw program file which has your, your partition name in my case it's the fourth one let me show you from here it's the fourth one then do the changes accordingly and that is it if you have any query let me know in the comment section i will link the article as well you may go through the steps and get the job done and thank you for watching the video okay just give me a few seconds you could now see we are inside the os so i'll show you that as well the Oxygen OS ROM was, I guess, Oxygen OS 13, Android 13 only. Because that's the latest we have for the ideal firmware. So it's not a cause of any concern. You could either flash the firmware via the Firewall Firmware Flasher tool, or you may simply use the OTA updates to install the update. That will take some time, but that's our official route. The choice is all yours. Just let me. Okay, let's first verify if the fingerprint is working or not. I had skipped the Persist one, so it should work. There should not be any issue whatsoever. But still, let's just see both the IMEI and the Persist. IMEI will not be showing, that's quite obvious. Let me just check it one. So both the IMEIs are there, great to see. Now let's check the fingerprint as well. Since we have only flashed the boot files on my phone, there should not be any issue. Okay, let's first change to dark mode for recording is now it's better. And I'm very much sure there should not be any issue whatsoever with the fingerprint. But still, let me see. Let's say a pattern. Okay, we have to wait for five seconds. Just to be on the safer side, I'm verifying this. But since we have not touched the, the purchase slot is not touched, it's untouched. So yes, it is working well and good without any issue whatsoever. As could be seen from here. So both the IMEs are fine and even the purchase partition is also fine. We're done. And not now let's lock it and try to unlock it and it's done so guys if you have any query let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching the video